Now at 11, crews forced to jump from one brush fire to the next. I'm Lisa Bell. I'm at Austin. Flames from a storage facility spread to nearby brush, and now more than 60 firefighters are on scene. This is happening along Padrick Avenue. That's off Shell Road near State Road 44, right near DeLand. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us there live. Nikki, still an active scene out there. Matt, it absolutely is, but I must make sure that you know that State Road 44 has just reopened and for most of the evening traffic had to be rerouted. Now a fire official we just spoke to says he has to keep fire crews on scene because he wants to make sure that this fire is completely contained. And if you take a look over my shoulder, you'll be able to see from a distance a fire still going. Now, one of the firefighters who stopped and spoke to us also said the heat from this fire was so hot that it even melted a street sign. With this type of heat, when you have 92 degree uh, heat, they, they get exhausted uh, you know, fairly quick. Firefighters found themselves up against extremely dangerous situations Friday evening in DeLand. It appears that it was a storage facility for pallets uh, with some adjacent structures and uh, adjacent property that was stored, uh, uh, different sized boats and, and vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, it is a total loss. Hazardous tanks exploding and shooting through the air shown in this cell phone video. This is more than 60 firefighters fought to contain the fire. At the time that we took this call, our units were currently working a two acre brush fire on the far west side of unincorporated the land. Fire officials say flame started at a business, but then jumped and quickly spread, impacting 10 acres of land. It is very hot conditions right now. We have not had a lot of rain. All right, so the smallest spark, the smallest ember, uh, you know, there, there's so many factors that, that can cause fires like this. Hot embers blown by the wind even caused several brush fires and all this damage, prompting this warning. Please do not burn, do not burn your trash, do not set off fireworks, it's a holiday weekend. Uh, be cautious, be careful, because as you can see tonight, um, you know, two fires uh, pretty much at the same time. Now we were just told that fire crews will be on fire watch throughout the night because of that fire you see just behind me. They're saying they are not sure whether that's going to spread or not. Now we asked if there were any injuries as a result of this fire and they said none have been reported. We've also learned that the state fire marshal is investigating this fire to determine the cause. For now, I'm live in Deland, Nikki Zizaza getting results. New 6.